Just a couple of words about Twitter's culture. Successful and influential peop tweeple <laughs> post 10 to 20 tweets a day. I don't know where I pulled that statistic from. I know I just read it a lot of times. And what people say is that by posting that many tweets in a day, you kind of get more top of mind share. Because remember, you know, they're getting just tons of messages each day. So the more you show up, the more you're like, oh, I, I know that guy, you know. And so the more people that you get to follow and, and things like that. People and businesses tend to follow others that follow them. So just by the mere act of following somebody, usually we'll get a response of, of people following you back. That gets overused. Direct messages, tweets uh, that are not public have somewhat lost their luster given the overuse and spam. And Follow Friday is a great way to show your followers who you like and think are worthy of following. There's a culture in Twitter that every Friday, um, if you post a little tweet about who you think is cool, you uh, will get followers to follow you back. And so literally, and I think... Um, so you consider yourself cool? I, I could, sure. <laughs> and I am. I'm going to just go back. Uh, down here at the bottom is a Follow Friday uh, tweet. And so what I'm doing is I put at who I think is worthy following. So I did at Deadliest Catch, at Discovery uh, Channel PR. And so that lets my followers know who I think is cool. And then I put a hashtag after it, Pound Follow Friday, so other people can find those. And that's what Follow Friday is. It happens every Friday. And you will, if you use this thing, you will have people that will, will do that to you. And then you usually, you know, reward them by doing the same thing. You know, um, we're on Twitter, and uh, uh, sometimes you, the, the 10 to 20 tweets a day, I mean, when I get those from people, it just kind of, kind of turns me off. Because it fills up, I want to see what people are talking about, and it fills up my, my Twitter page. Mm -hmm. So is there a way you can narrow that down, or? Yep, we're, we're almost right there, so we'll, we'll handle that. We'll talk about that. It's a good question, though. Using software programs to improve your connectivity. I was trying to put this together, and I was going to show a lot of slides on TweetDeck, and we just had a security issue at work, and so my firewall wouldn't pr allow my TweetDeck to actually connect to the Internet, but I can do it here. So uh, the first software programs that you should look at are these two right here. Um, and there's actually more than this. There's probably 20 or so real popular programs. I use TweetDeck, which is the one to the left. And then the one to the right is called Twirl. What it allows you to do is you can view tweets and replies and direct messages all in one interface. And answering your question in the back, one thing you can do is group people together and just see them as a separate window so that you can focus on the ones you want to focus on, and group them differently all in one separate account. So these people might be my friends, and these people might be business colleagues, and these people are people I don't know but like search engine marketing or whatever it may be. And you can do that all from that application. Um, you can handle multiple accounts because that does come up in larger corporations. Um, with TweetDeck, you can also post to Facebook and Twitter all at the same time, or just post to Facebook. Easily find people or monitor what others are saying. That's a biggie with this one. Um, finding people, uh, this one is Twitter search. Uh, that is the default if you go to Twitter. That's the search that you get. This one's called Twitter Local. It's a program that you can download. And you type in a zip code, and it will tell you all the people that are around you. Cool. Tweet scheduler. Now, this is kind of like for the, for the PR and, and marketing person internally. You can actually schedule your tweets. So if you have press releases and posts all being kind of scheduled at once, you can put this in, in this uh, program. Again, free program. They do have a paid option, though. And uh, it will allow you to send it out over time. It also does auto-following for you. So when people follow you, it will automatically follow them back. That's kind of a dangerous tactic. I, I use it. I go back and forth between the two. But just make sure that you look at it every once in a while at the you know, you're not following all these people randomly. And then 
Uh, it, it can also send direct messages to them. So when somebody follows you, it will send a direct message to them and say, thanks for the follow, read our blog, something to that effect. You can integrate files uh, through TweetDeck I just showed you. Um, and again, don't feel like you have to write all this stuff down, but uh, TwitPic, uh, Twitio, TweetCube, uh, these are all applications that you can use in order to share pictures. That's one key distinction with like Facebook. Facebook is very simple to add things. Unfortunately with this you have to use other programs in order to do it. Twitter for your mobile phone. Twitter font, Twitterberry, TweetDeck. If you don't have a smartphone you can still tweet from your phone using text messages. I talked about that before. Um, just as you saw in TweetDeck that I showed you, these work almost identically. In fact, there is a TweetDeck application. And you can see your, like in this example, friends and at replies and direct messages all from your phone. I only have two more segments here, so I'm going to try to wrap this up in five minutes. I'll be happy to stay and, and answer any questions. Driving community participation. Um, this is a is a question I get asked a lot. The best way you, you can get participation is by publishing the fact that you're on these channels. Publish it on your website. Put it on your business cards. Use it in email. Uh, on marketing materials. Okay, just the mere fact that you put it on your website is going to get people to follow you. So like in, in Hilton's case, that's all you really need to do is say, hey, we're on Twitter. Listen to our tweets. And that would be enough because they would get so many so much traffic that they probably get hundreds of followers in a day. Um, if you're using search engine marketing to, to get traffic to your site, that's another way to, to gain uh, Twitter followers. And by the way, just going back, this works for all social media, LinkedIn, YouTube, whatever it is. Just the mere fact of publishing them will get you more awareness of them 